41 feet long, eight feet wide, two lofts, and a main floor bedroom. Let's check this tiny home out. back here in Delta BC with Mint Tiny Homes checking out their 41 foot gooseneck floor plan featuring two lofts and a main floor bedroom. But before we get started in the interior, I'll show you a few things with the exterior of this home. On the exterior, you'll notice there's two points of entry, one on the rear of the home and one on the side of the home. The outside is finished with a board and batten style LP smart siding. On all three sides of the home, you'll find exterior plugs. Towards the front of the trailer, you'll see that there's a pass-through storage bay, which also houses your fresh water supply. Just under the gooseneck portion of the trailer, you're gonna find your HVAC system and a location to put two propane bottles. And on the opposite side of the home, you'll find fresh and city water connections, sewer outlet connections, your Truma hot water on-demand system, a solar plug, and shore power and cable connections as well. The exterior also features multiple 110 volt outlets and is finished with a metal Duraclad roof. Stepping in from this side door, you immediately step into the kitchen area. And what I love about how this home was optioned is that you get white walls and white cabinets that make it feel nice and light and airy. And then the counter and the accent pieces around the home are stained in a darker brown, which kind of gives it a cabin-like feel. And I like that. So let's talk about this kitchen space. Directly across from the front door, you have two large cabinet doors that open up. And in this space is actually a spot for you to put a stackable laundry unit. Next to the laundry setup, you do have a fridge and freezer. Up top, plenty of room in the freezer and plenty of room below for the fridge. And you even get a little bit of storage below the fridge here as well. Now, as we move forward in the kitchen here, you're gonna see the porcelain sink off to my left. You have black hardware throughout the kitchen and you have plenty of prep space on either side of the kitchen sink here and behind me around the stove top here. And of course, below the kitchen sink, you have cabinet space and to the left and the right, you have pull-out drawer space. Turning around here, once again, we have the second half of the kitchen. So above me here, we have overhead storage space. Below the storage space, you have prep space, like I said, on either side of the three burner stove top. And above the stove top, you have an overhead fan as well. Just below the stove top, you do get an oven as well. And of course, on the left and the right, you do get a little bit more storage space. As we turn around to my right here, you'll see that this is the formal dining area. You have two spots to sit. I would say you could probably squeeze a third one in there if you needed to. And then of course, you have a nice big window up front here to look out and see the view. As we continue down the line here in the kitchen, you do have a cabinet door across from your seating area as well. You'll notice you have a little bit of storage up top but then you have some space down here that's actually all blocked off. The reason it's blocked off is because this home is outfitted with a forced air propane furnace, which takes up that lower space. Finally, in the back of the home here, this is where you have your second point of entry or exit. And this is the living room area, which is really, really cozy. They've sectioned off this portion of the home specifically for the living room. So you have a couch against this wall. You've got a little fireplace below. TV on the wall, and then a lower mantle as well. The fact that this home is only eight feet wide and you can still fit a couch, a built-out fireplace, and a coffee table or something in between is super impressive. You'll notice in here that the ceiling is a little bit lower. And the reason for that is because there's a loft above here. Now for reference, I'm 6'4 and still have plenty of headroom above me here. And now that we're here, we might as well go check out the loft. Before you walk up these steps, the first three steps you'll notice have hinges on them. And like you may have guessed, you'll find storage underneath them. All right, welcome to the first loft. So one advantage this loft has over the second loft is this one's accessible by stairs. For some of you, going up and down a ladder just isn't feasible. So therefore having stairs might be the better option. You've got windows on each of the walls that all open and have a blind to close them off. And you have plugs on the walls and LED lighting in the ceiling. I know for many of you, the common question is, can you stand in the loft? And as you can see, you clearly cannot. But if I sit up straight, even on a mattress, I still have headroom even on the slant of the ceiling here. But if I move to the center, I have lots of space. So even myself, I don't feel like this is too small of a space and you're primarily using it for sleeping anyways. So not a bad first loft. Let's check out that second loft. All right, welcome to the second loft. So 
This base does feel a little bit smaller than the first one, and there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, it's just physically a smaller space. So lengthwise, I believe you can fit a double bed in here. Widthwise, you might be able to squeeze in a queen size bed that way and use the back end here for storage, but it is just a little bit smaller of a space. And number two, you get one window. So as opposed to the three windows in the first loft, you get one in this one. So you get a little bit less natural light in here. However, you do have the LED lighting in the ceiling as well. And then you have outlets on the walls. So if you wanted to plug in a lamp like this one right here, you can do so. Okay, so before we move forward down the front end of the home, I will point out that above me here, you have your mini split heating and cooling system. So that will control both your heating and your air conditioning in this home. In addition to that, you also have the forced air furnace that I talked about earlier, and you have electric heat registers in the wall around the home. Along with your HVAC system, you also get dual pane windows on every window, and you have closed cell spray foam insulation in the walls. All right, welcome to the bathroom. And as you enter the bathroom, to your right hand side, you're gonna have your vanity, you've got overhead lighting, a mirror on the wall, and a little bit of storage beneath. Directly in front of the entryway, you do have an RV style foot flush toilet. And then above that, a frosted window with a blind to cover it. To my right here is a spa inspired shower. So you get a little bench in there. It's a fiberglass enclosed shower with a nice big glass door. One thing I will mention about this home is that because all of the walls are two by four framing, if you find that you would rather have exposed shelving in one of these rooms, you can actually mount that to the wall and utilize that space to your liking. Now, as you can see, it's not a true main floor bedroom simply because this is the gooseneck portion of the trailer. So you do have a few steps to enter the main bedroom, but there's only a couple and you do get a handrail off to the left here. One thing I will note about the stairs, and it's very similar to the stairs leading up to the first loft, is that all three of these steps have storage underneath. All right, once you make it up those steps, this is your main bedroom. As you can see, you have a queen size bed in here. You might be able to squeeze a king size bed in here, but you would definitely lose that space around the bed to walk around. Above the headboard of the bed, you get two LED lights on either side. And my favorite part about this room is the two opposing windows on either side of the room here. Once again, both of these windows are dual pane and they have blackout blinds. So if you need that privacy, you have it here. Turning around in here, you can see that you can close off the master bedroom with the sliding barn door. And behind me here, you can see there's closet space and a TV on the wall. The closet space is left open. And the nice thing about that is you can kind of customize the shelving in there and adjust them to the height that you want. If you're looking for more information or you're someone who's looking to build or buy one of these tiny homes, I've left all the information you need down below in the description. And if you have any questions, concerns, likes, or dislikes, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Finally, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next one.